Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm a little extra excited about this video because I'm doing a review on another oldie but goodie product. I don't know what it is about oldies but goodies. I think I actually enjoy reviewing older products more than I do the new releases because I figure people forget about them. They think that you know their time has come and gone and the newer stuff is better but trust me especially when it comes to the product i'm talking about today the old stuff is so good and so slept on so today as you probably guessed from the title and thumbnail i'm reviewing max strobe cream this little tube right here is not cheap you're getting 50 mils or 1.7 fluid ounces for $40 Canadian or 35 US. I do also want to mention that this product does come in a smaller travel size, but before you get excited and think you're going to run out and purchase if you're feeling my review, you think, let me get the travel size and try it out. Number one, there are four shades of this product. I happen to have gold light, but there's also pink light, which is the original shade before they added on uh, the extension of the extra shades. Pink light was the only one that they had, plus silver light and peach light. And the little mini travel size only comes in peach light, the original shade. Hence why it took me such a long time before ever trying out this product. Because even though it is a moisturizer, if you're wondering what this is and you've seen it over the years used by people in many different ways, Matt categorizes it as a moisturizer, but there is there, there are little iridescent particles that do have a little bit of a color to them. I'll show you a close-up swatch of this. And the original that they had for years before coming out with other shades had that pink sheen, that pink cast. And I have golden, yellow golden undertones in my skin and I knew that that really wasn't gonna work for me so I never bothered. But several years ago when they came out with these other shades, I ran and picked up Gold Light because I knew that that would be the one for me. And not only does the travel size only come in the original shade, it's actually better for your pockets. Buying two of the mini travel sizes, you get more product than the original and you're paying a couple dollars less. So from a value standpoint, the travel size is better as long as you're okay with it being the original uh, pink undertoned uh, shade. So like I said before, this is categorized by MAC as a moisturizer, which surprised me because over the years I kind of assumed that it was more of a highlighter because it does give the skin, it is meant to give the skin a very radiant, youthful uh, boost of life, so to speak. It kind of uh, masks any any dullness and tired look to the skin and just gives it that very healthy look. Even though this product is categorized as a moisturizer, uh, what I feel this product does best is just what I said earlier, gives the skin a very youthful, radiant, healthy look. It cancels out any dull and tiredness from your skin. Not so much giving you true uh, moisturizing properties, even though it does moisturize the skin, the number one thing that you're getting out of it is you're giving your skin a particular look rather than feeding it with moisture. But because it's MAC, don't think that they just put in a bunch of crap ingredients and just slapped on the label of moisturizer on this. Absolutely not. This does actually have some great skincare benefits. It does contain a bunch of vitamins and antioxidants such as green tea. So even though you are using it, I would think most people are gonna use this as more of a makeup product than a skincare product. You're still gonna be feeding your skin with good stuff. There are a multitude of different ways you can use this product. You can use it all over your skin as a moisturizer by itself, nothing else, or under foundation, 
over foundation and also mixed into your foundation. The packaging is a plastic kind of squeezy tube with a twist off top and I will show you a little demo here that is the consistency of it. So very creamy like, very uh, reminiscent of your typical cream type moisturizer. And hopefully as I blend this out, you'll be able to see that golden, that yellow golden um, iridescence to it. I'm not sure if you really will be able to, but um, this one in particular that it's called Gold Light does have a golden um, sheen to it. So if you wanna see the, my other hand, this is without and this is with. That is what this product gives your face. Just a very nice, healthy, um, radiant type of look. The scent is definitely what you would um, assume a, a regular average moisturizer to smell like. Definitely has a very skincare smell as opposed to a makeup-y smell. Smells just like any other random type of moisturizer, nothing offensive or very perfumed or strong in any way. So before you clicked on this video, if you looked at my thumbnail in the title, you saw me refer to this as a great glow product for oilier skins. And that is exactly the number one thing that I probably love about this. As a combo oily person myself, finding these types of products, these liquids and cream glow products that are not gonna make my oily skin look crazy oily and greasy is not always very easy to find, but this one does it so well. So having said that, if you're on the drier side, I would never suggest that you use this as your go-to moisturizer, doing your whole skincare routine, and then at the end, using this as, as your moisturizer. I would go in with a different moisturizer and really use this as a true blue makeup product. Oilier skins, you could absolutely get away with using this as your regular daily moisturizer if you would like to, if you would also enjoy the other Radiance uh, glowing uh, properties that this product will give you as well. You can absolutely do that. The look that you're gonna get from this product, I would explain it as a very subtle sheen. It's really not even, I'm gonna show you my hand again after the product's been sitting on here, for a minute or two, it's, it's a sheen. It's a very nice, healthy sheen. It's not even feeling my hand now. It does not in any way feel oily or greasy at all. It's just a beautiful, subtle sheen that oilier skins can really appreciate, especially if you wanna mix this in with your more matte foundations. You're just maybe on a particular day not really feeling to be completely matte. You want certain properties that the matte foundations have, but you do want a little glow. This is perfect to either mix in or use underneath, and you'll definitely get that. Also to be mindful that if you do wanna use this as a true um, under makeup glow product that you're wanting to, to really see come through your foundation, it won't do that for your heavier full coverage uh, foundations. Definitely that is more likely to happen with something lighter. If you have a very thick, uh, heavy full coverage foundation that you like to use and you're using this underneath it, hoping that the glow will show through, it very well may not because the glow is so incredibly subtle. So this is definitely more suited to provide that glow factor with lighter foundations. So that's it guys, that's my full review on this oldie but goodie MAC strobe cream. Definitely go buy a MAC store or a MAC counter when we're able to get out and try it. 
definitely do some swatches of all the, the shades that they now offer. I'm really, really happy that they have now come out with different shades because for me, the original just wasn't up my alley, but this gold light definitely works for me. I love it. I'm so glad that I went out and gave it a shot because initially I had a completely different idea of what this product would do for me than what it actually does. So I'm sure some of you guys watching this video and you have oilier skin like me probably think this isn't something you need to try out. You've skipped over it a million times every time you go by a matte counter. Next time, give it a try. I promise you, you will love it. This to me is the perfect under makeup glow product for oilier skins. It just does that beautiful of a job without giving you that greasy, crazy, oily, slick, dewy look. Just a beautiful glow, a true, subtle, lit from within type of glow. So please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for many more videos just like this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.